Well, hey, Huey, uh, we're here at IDF 2014, and we're actually over here at our booth finally today. So, um, you know, we've actually got a number of demonstrations that Brocade's a part of, but, you know, why don't we actually talk about the two specific demonstrations that we're actually doing here. So, not only is Brocade able to offer a very high-performing um, virtual network function, mm -hmm. specifically the virtual router, um, right. our 5600 platform, but we also have a virtual application delivery controller that's also been DPDK optimized. Yeah. So, we're, we're now able to offer an, an infrastructure or an architecture mm -hmm. that can be highly scalable, highly performing, very flexible, very elastic, but also give them a tool that allows them to actually protect that infrastructure, giving them confidence as they want to move forward in their NFT deployments. Yes, yes, and, and uh, this tool uh, allow them to automate with confidence. I guess that, that, that's probably the way, I mean, you, everybody was, uh, was talking about automation, but the automation, you have to automate in a way that makes sense. If automation takes away the economic uh, advantage of NFV, then everything is for naught. So I think it's very important to, to be able to understand some of the nuances and be able to achieve that uh, in, in an automation tool like SAA. And uh, I think our integration really showed that. Can I agree more? So why don't we actually go through the demo? Um, okay. So let's let's actually walk through the, the performance piece of it so we can demonstrate you know the, the 10 gig plus type of line rate throughput capability of the virtual router along with actually our route scale. Yeah. And then we'll move on over to the Intel SAA component of it and the integration that we've actually done with the 5600. Okay. Sound good? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so here is the demo. It's a, actually a fairly simplistic demo. We have a, um, a virtual router that's running on the server. It's in fact, it's a virtual machine running on, on top of the KVM hypervisor. And in this uh, environment, what we have is a server that's a, um, a dual socketed uh, E5 2690V2. In this setup, what we're doing is we have two tester ports from uh, the act, uh, this particular case is a, a Sparren tester port, and sending 10 gig traffic from one port in into the Viata virtual router and coming out of 10 gig and to another one, and, and we have traffic going to the other way as well. In addition to the bidirectional 10 gig traffic, we're also sending in 10 million routes via the BGP. So there's a BGP peer that's injecting 10 million routes. And so the objective of this is to be able to achieve line rate performance at the minimum size packet of 64 bytes and be able to sustain line rate. And so, so essentially, at the end of the day, we deliver a 30 million packets per second at uh, 20 gigabits per second bidirectional and 10 million routes, all in, with the use of four, uh, four cores. Over here is the uh, traffic generator. The traffic generator is uh, providing a total of um, two ports, as you can see on the screen here. Those two ports, and each port is sending a stream of traffic you know, at a 64-byte uh, packet stream. And at the same time, let me show you the, at the bottom screen here, it's, uh, it's, uh, ha it has a pair of um, uh, IBGP and it's showing 10 million routes right now, 10 million uh, prefixes. So while that's happening, I'm going to start the traffic. This is going to start the traffic on all ports. So once the traffic starts, just watch these cells here you'll see packets per second going from port 2 to port 3 and port 3 to port 2. And currently it's just showing both ports are receiving 14.88 million packets per second. And that, that is the highest throughput you can ever, ever achieve with IPv4 traffic on the 10 gig interface. And you can also see, of course, the, the speedometer is showing the full line rate of 20 gigabit per second. So that's a very, very simple demo that I'm showing. Generally with uh, OpenStack, we get a uh, specific number of metrics like uh, usage, how long has it been on, and so on. But these metrics are not enough for the general users of the OpenStack. So in order to alleviate this or to counter that, we created something called service assurance 
uh, agent, which is SAA. Uh, this relies by having uh, an agent on each compute node, and this sends, an info, sends all the information regarding this to the SAM, which is the Service Assurance Manager. So, for example, if we look at the current uh, open stack, we have uh, the Viata router, okay, which is actually mapped from the Viata router virtual, in a sense. And then we have a number of virtual uh, networks over here, one, two, three. And we have a number of uh, virtual innocence that are running and sending traffic between them. So this is just a typical OpenStack environment. If we go to the uh, SAA dashboard, we go to the setting, we upload all the information from here to the uh, network and we can construct the information in the dashboard. So over here we look at the dashboard, we know that uh, the uh, trusted node, the compute nodes, the total RAM usage, if somebody is abusing the network, abusing the memory, we will know about it so user can put information or put the, create new virtual machine on uh, another network. Part of the uh, work of uh, Brocade and Intel is to uh, incorporate the metrics of the Viata router into the uh, SAA. So now we are going to go to the report to show you an example of that uh, report. So we have here uh, two Viata routers running. I'm focused on the Viata 5600. Example is the CPU utilization. So it shows you all the utilization that you have over here. So there are many metrics that are available for Viata and you can as you can see.